What's going on guys? Today we are taking a look at Transformers Beast Wars Neo Long Rack. Long Rack is a giraffe. I don't know what else I could say. If you don't know what a giraffe is, Google it. Um, yeah. The only other thing in beast mode that you could do is push his tongue in and his eyes roll up. That is supremely stupid. So yeah, there, there is literally nothing else I could do for you in this mode. Um, we can lift up his tail, and I guess he could poop Energon. Oh wait, he doesn't have a butt. <laughs> so I don't know what else I could show you. Um, he has missiles in his knees, which for the transformation's sake, we're going to fire them off and then uh, just leave them out of the picture. Transformation for this guy is incredibly complex. And yes, there is a lot of shell forming going on here. We'll start off by coming to the front legs and pe unpegging them, thus allowing us to unpeg the neck and then the back of the, mo of the giraffe mode. And this is just incredibly weird. So folding the front legs down and thus being able to fold out the neck and the, well, one of the robot arms, we can then take the sides and fold them down thus, and spin the bottom part of the figure around while at the same time taking the back legs, bringing them and everything to the middle, allowing us to spin the legs around the body and folding them up and underneath the middle of the draft mode take some of the panels and flip them back so we can then fold the giraffe legs up, the rear giraffe legs up like shoulder missile cannons. Oops, forgot to uh, fold out the head from the back of the figure. See, even if you know exactly which steps to go and which steps to do, things are going to get in the way. And we fold over these hip skirts, get the spark, the maximal spark covered up, take the rump of the beast mode and the chest and fold first fold out this blade and then flip out his fist, which is sometimes harder to do than you think it should be. And then this unpegs and his he will hold it. And there we go. No, I'm just kidding. We have to fold out the rear legs, which just fold out, flip out, and then cover up the giraffe legs. Actually a very elegant solution to robot legs on a giraffe alt mode, or for a giraffe. Get his arm situated, or his claw arm. Get the missile firing giraffe legs set up. Get the side skirts in place, peg his hips in place, and get his arms situated, and there we go. I think in robot mode, long rack is pretty cool. I like the look of this figure. It's definitely unique. This is the only time I can remember ever that we had a giraffe for a transformer. Now, yes, he does have a kind of a base mode like some of the other figures, and I'll show that to you here in a second on the box, but overall I like the robot mode even if it is ridiculously top heavy. As promised, here is his attack mode. It looks absolutely ridiculous, like all the beast attack modes, but I get what they were going for, kind of like this mobile giraffe claw thing of doom. Even though the figure is ridiculously top heavy, he does have a lot of posability. Head is on a swivel. Arms, ball joint in the shoulder, ball joint in the elbow, ball joint at the wrist. Grapple arm is a series of hinge and swivels. You can deploy his grapple claw with this button underneath the giraffe's head. And it does shoot out very nicely. You can smack a Decepticon or Predacon right good with it. It opens up and it even has a little, a little extra handhold here, or a little mini claw within the big claw. So that is a nice addition. Hips do rotate a little bit. 
I'm sorry, torso does rotate a little bit. Hips are on double hinges. There is knee articulation, though you have to be a little bit careful that the giraffe leg doesn't come out of the foot. So you can get some decent poses, though things being what they are, they're, it's not easy. I, for one, really like this head sculpt. It screams youth to me, and that's what he was in the show. In Beast Wars Neo, Long Rack was a very young Cybertronian. Very, very cool, just overall really nice head sculpt. Overall, Long Rack is a super interesting figure. I like him a lot. Yeah, his beast mode is kind of useless, and he doesn't really do much in that mode, but robot mode has just tons of personality and tons of functionality and lots of fun, too. I just like fiddling with him and putting him in, trying to put him in different poses. He's just a fun, interesting figure. And, you know, we don't really get a whole lot of fun, interesting figures in Transformers all that much anymore. So, guys, I hope you enjoy this video review and look at Transformers Beast Wars Neo Long Rack. I have been Spade of the Vault Matrix, and I'll catch you next time.